Okay, so today is the part one of smartphone basics. So today we're actually going to be focusing on the phone app. So anything that has to do with making phone calls, blocking spam calls, adding contacts, deleting contacts, that is what this class is going to be focusing on. Next week is going to be part two, where we will focus on the messaging app, which is like sending pictures, blocking text messages, deleting text messages. So that's for next week. And so I've split the two of them so we don't get confused between the two apps. So today's class is going to be for those that have Apple smartphones as well as Android Samsung smartphones. So please bear with me as I go over both phones. So while I'll do one phone, the other group can just practice and then vice versa. Um, so if you are using your smartphone today to watch the Zoom class, make sure then to just take some notes or if you have like a paper or pen, so then you can know what to do once the call ends. Also, I'll be posting it on YouTube. So if you know you can't write down notes today, you can rewatch this class on our YouTube channel. So the first thing that we're going to go over is adding and deleting contacts. And I'm gonna first show it on an iPhone. And then I'm gonna show it for those that have Samsung Android phones. So as you can see here on the screen, on the left-hand side of the screen is the app that we're going to go on for iPhones. On the right-hand side of the screen is the app we're going to go on for Samsung phones, Samsung Android phones. So if you're an iPhone, look on the left-hand side. If you have Android, look on the right-hand side. Right now we're gonna do iPhone. So the group that has Samsung and Androids, don't worry, I'm not gonna forget about you. We're just gonna do it after this part. So if you wanna follow along with me, go ahead and take out your phone. So if you have any questions, you can stop me and ask them. And so today's class is basically just going to be doing these steps together. That's why I encourage everyone to try it with me and go on their phones. So what we're going to do is actually go to our contacts app. We're going to try to find it on our smartphones. If you can't find the app, you can always use one finger and slide down and search for it but it should be somewhere on your phone, the contacts app. Once again, this is the app that I'm looking for. This is what it looks like if you don't, if you can't find it. So once you do get to your contacts app, you're going to see a bunch of people that are probably already there. Maybe you already done it in the past, maybe, um, when you went to the store, when you got a new phone, they already put all your contacts there. So today I'm just teaching you how to add any new contacts in case you go to like a new doctor's office, things like that, you know how to add someone new. So when you do click on that contacts app, all the way in the top right hand corner is going to be a plus sign. And when we tap on that plus sign in the top right hand corner, we should get something that looks a bit like this, a form. A form that we have to complete with all the necessary information about the person. And with iPhones, there are a bunch of different things that you can include in somebody's contact information. Of course, all you have to do is just put their first name, last name, and add their phone number. But there's many other things that you can include, such as their email, URL, which means like the website. So for ex example, if you were adding the, a doctor in your phone, you can put the doctor's website if you wanted to. You can add an uh, address, so like where the location is, uh, a birthday, a date, 
who who they are to you so you could even say like they're your doctor they're your um granddaughter things like that um once you do fill out the information you don't have to do all that necessary information the iphone just includes that just because some people like to add all that information um, what I recommend is just making sure to put their first name, last name, and their phone number. And then if you're someone who likes to email a lot, of course, you can add their email address as well. But once you do fill out all that information, make sure you hit the word done in the top upper right hand corner, because it's not going to save any of that information if you don't press done at the ending. And I have an arrow on the screen to show you where it is. Anybody with iPhones have questions on adding contacts? Yes, I put a question in the chat. Yes, so you said that you add some of your contacts, but they were duplicating? No, they were not duplicating. They were only being saved to my device, to my phone, but not also to Google contacts, which I would prefer. So I can search my Google contacts on my computer and it will have whatever phone numbers I added into my phone. And you have an iPhone or an or a Samsung? IPhone. iPhone. Okay, so in, in order for the for it to be saving with Google, you need to add them then with the Google app, not with the iPhone app itself. In your in the Google app, there is a section to add contacts, which is different than this on the screen. All right, that's and right. That, and that's why it's going reminding to, me. Yeah. That's it. I need to initiate the save from the Google contacts icon, not from the iPhone contacts icon. Correct. Thank you. Any other questions about adding contacts for those that have an iPhone? Uh, yes, I have a, a question. Yes. Um, does, does the iPhone automatically add contacts? Like if you get an email and open it, uh, um, so sometimes when you get an email and open it, you do get uh, a little message from your phone that says if you would like to add them as a new contact, but okay. they don't do it without you saying yes to that um, message. Okay, thanks. So someone said, is there a way to delete contacts uh, more than one at a time? That's what I'm going to go over next. But any other questions for this part? Okay. So now we're gonna go over deleting contacts. And then after that, we will switch over to Android Samsung phones. So deleting contacts on an iPhone. So someone already put in the chat, is there a way to kind of delete multiple um, contacts at a time? At the moment, there is not a very fast way to delete contacts all at one time. Um, what you could do is make a list and then delete the whole entire list but then you would have to create the list, put all the contacts in the list, and then delete them, which is not, it's going to take up too much time. So instead, I would just say to delete them individually, unless it's like hundreds and hundreds of contacts, um, then you could do it in a list. And I could email you instructions on how to do it in a list and, and show you how to do it through email. But if you wanna just, delete one contact, all you would have to do is make sure you're still in your contacts app and you would find anyone that you want to delete. So for example, this is um, the Apple contact. All the person did was just tap on their contact and all the way in the upper right hand corner should be the word edit. So with the with editing, we can 
change the phone number, we can add a new email, but all the way at the bottom should say delete contact. And that's what that's how we take out the contact from our phone. Um, so let's say someone gets a new number, you can hit the word edit and just change the number just like that. You don't have to completely delete the contact and start fresh. Any questions on this part for iPhones? Okay, so next up is those that have Android or Samsung phone. So even if there's no one on here that has that, I'm recording it today. So when you watch the YouTube video, those that have Androids can see it as well. So for those that have Android, Samsung phones, this is your contact uh, app. This is what it looks like. It's in orange. It has a per person icon. So that's what we're going to click on today. And when we open up the app, it does kind of look like the iPhone app, which all the way in the top right hand corner is going to have a plus sign, just like the iPhone. So if you were following along, it should uh, be simple. Once we tap on that plus sign, we're also going to get a form, just like the iPhones. But there's one step that Android Samsung phones have that are a bit different than those that have um, iPhones. So with Samsung Android phones, depending on what model you have, when you do um, want to add a new contact, you get two things. Where do you want to save your contact? Do you want to save it on the phone itself? Or do you want to save it on the SIM card? Because some people that have um, Android, Samsung phones, some models, uh, people save all their information on a SIM card. Because when they get a brand new phone, all they have to do is put that SIM card in the new phone and it saves all the information. So you have to choose, do you want to save it on the phone itself or do you want to save it on the SIM card? However, not everyone is going to see this screen. This is for just some models. So I just included it just in case. Does anybody have any questions so far about that for Android phones? Okay. So if you don't see that screen, that's okay, that's fine. That means that your, your phone is probably more modern and doesn't need that. Um, but I just included it. So then you have a form just like iPhones where you put their first name and last name, you add their phone number, you add their email. And once you do fill out all that information, you do want to hit save at the bottom of the screen. Um, make sure you hit save so it can remember all the information that you put in and you don't have to redo it. Any questions on that? Okay, so we're gonna move on to deleting contacts for Android. So once again, we are going to stay in the contacts app. We're not going to leave this app. And if we remember when we hit the plus sign, we did have some icons next to the plus sign. We had a little magnifying glass, which means to search for somebody. But then we have these three little dots on the right-hand side. And that's what we're gonna tap on to delete contacts. So once we tap on those three dots, we should get a menu with different things. It's going to say settings, maybe it'll say call history, share, but we wanna tap on where it says delete. And this is where it should be located too. It should be located in the upper right hand corner. When we tap on delete, what we're telling our phone is that we wanna start deleting all the contacts that we have. So someone said in the chat, how can we delete multiple for iPhone? iPhone doesn't really have this feature that Android has um, 
With Android, we can delete multiple contacts at one time. So you can see here on the screen, you can tap as many contacts as you want and they will get a check mark, which means you have selected them. And then there should be a garbage can icon at the bottom of the screen so we can delete all the contacts that we want. Um, I wish iPhone had this feature, but unfortunately it does not have this at the moment. Any questions for Android Samsung phones on this? Uh, this is Helene. I have an Android Samsung. Yes. And mine, when I hit that, says uh, brings up edit, not delete. I have to hit the edit, and then it gives me options. And when you hit edit, does it give you the option to select the contacts? Yes. OK, well, thank you for letting me know. Yes, some um, different Android models have different wording, but it was also in the upper right hand corner. Correct? correct. Okay, yeah. good. Thank you. All right. Yeah, so you, um, like she said, you may see the word edit or you may see the word delete. So now we're going to move. So if we have any more questions, now we're going to move on to blocking scam calls, which is another uh, important topic that I think everyone should know how to do now. There's so many uh, robocalls that we get, or there's people that call us and we don't know who they're from. They don't leave a voicemail. And sometimes they just call and call again. And with blocking a phone call, we do not have to receive that uh, call anymore. Our phone is not going to ring anymore. So once we block someone, they can no longer contact us. They can send us a message. They can't even send us a voicemail. So these are the steps for iPhone. And you can see now on the screen, the picture changed, right? So before we were in the contacts, but now we're moving on to the phone app. So if you're in your contacts app, either press the button or swipe up. Let's leave that app and let's move on to the phone app. This green icon here on the screen. Let's all find that icon. And once we do get to the phone app, we should see some different icons at the bottom of the screen. We have favorites, recents, contacts, the keypad, and the voicemail button. And we want to focus on where it says recents. So we want to make sure to tap on that. And we know we're there when the icon turns blue, right? So if your recents at the bottom is not in blue, that means you not you did not touch it or your finger may have not pressed on it hard enough. So make sure the icon is blue at the bottom of the screen. When you get there, on the screen should look at something a bit familiar. You should see everyone that has called you um, recently, the time, the date, if you picked it up, if you missed the call, that's what you should be seeing on the screen right now. And maybe you don't have anyone to block at the moment, but I'm just gonna show you the steps so you know what to do next time. But usually when someone calls you, um, you they're not gonna have a name in your phone because they're not, they're not saved as a contact. So it's probably just a random number or maybe it says spam, maybe it says robocall, but it should, their phone number should be there in the recents. Um, and all the way on the right hand side, we have these little eyes, and I stands for information. So next time when a spam person calls us, um, they'll be here in the recents, and we'll tap on that I. And when we tap on that eye, make sure you tap on the eye and your finger doesn't touch somewhere else because you're gonna start calling the person by accident. So make sure you really um, put your finger on the letter I. But once we do tap on that, all the way at the bottom, if we scroll down, we do have the option that says block this caller. 
it's going to say, you know, what their phone number is. It's going to say all these things if we want to add them as a contact. But all the way at the bottom, it should say block this call. And that's how we block them from contacting us again. Does anybody have any questions on this? Um, hello, I, I'm guessing that presumably we can't block ones that say no caller ID. Um, if it gives you the option to press the letter I, you should just check and see if it will say block this caller. Okay. If it doesn't give you the option, then no, you can't. Okay. Any other question on this? So, well, someone also asked in the sense, well, how do we unblock them, right? So when you do block someone, it's going to say at the bottom, unblock this caller, right? So the wording is gonna change. So at the bottom, you see that it says block this caller. So once we tap on them, we block them, the wording is gonna change to unblock this caller. So all you have to do is just come back to the screen with the letter I and just hit unblock them and they become unblocked. Why would you unblock someone? So for example, maybe you accidentally blocked your friend or family member because they changed their number and you didn't recognize the number. You can always unblock them. It's not uh, set in stone. Um, any final questions on that before I move to Android? Um, yes. Uh, uh, well, when, uh, I, when I press on um, the voicemail, I can get a message from a person. But when I press on recents, I, it, it recalls them. I don't want to recall them, but I want to find out who it, who it was. Okay, and why they, why they it recalls them because your finger is not tapping on the letter I. You have to make sure it, it taps on the I. It, even if your finger slightly is over the I, a little bit to the left, it's going to start calling the person. You have to make sure you touch on the I and your finger is not, you know, touching anywhere else. When you touch on the I, it's going to go to this screen here to give you all the information. Where, where is the I? Okay, do you see here on the screen the picture with the arrow, yeah. the red arrow? Red arrow, yes. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yes, that's where it oh, is. Why do I have to press on the I and then what happens? And then it's going to give you information about that caller and all the way at the bottom is going to say block this caller. Oh, I see, I see. So, so in other words, if I don't press on the, if I don't, oops. Use. If you don't press, if I on, don't the press I, on the eye, it's going to call them. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. It happens to me a lot. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, if you know, our phones are small, right? And our fingers are big. So we have to be very careful when we press on mm -hmm. the phones. Mm -hmm. There isn't really a solution, unfortunately, for that. They should make the eye bigger. Because I pressed on. I thought I was finding out information and instead I recalled them. That wasn't yeah, good. You just have yeah. to be, yeah, be careful when you click. Any other right. questions on this? Um, yes. Um, so I, I get so many calls from unknown numbers with accessorized and with doctor's offices that use a different outgoing number than they have as they're listed incoming call number. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are many times when I'm tempted to block and I, I, you know, so anyway, so I need to unblock sometimes ones that I've, that I, um, you accidentally have, blocked. At, right. But, but I'm, I'm, as you're explaining all this, uh, it occurs to me that if I have a question in my mind, hmm, maybe I'm going to want to unblock this, this number in the future, then I should not delete that from my um, list. Yeah, you shouldn't delete them calls. from your call logs, exactly. Because then that way I could 
if once they're blocked and deleted, that it's really hard to ever find them again. So you would you would have to right. Um, yeah. So yeah. another way to find them again is going through your settings. Okay. But you're going to have a list of all these numbers and you're not going to remember which date. It doesn't tell you the date of when you block them. Aye, so it's just going to be it's just going to be all these different numbers that you block. So I would recommend then leaving it in your call log. So at least, okay. you know, the date of when they called you. Yes. Yes. You can figure out, oh, that was just the the doctor's office calling me back from a different number. I didn't yeah, recognize. Exactly. I, I want to say that. Okay, thank you so much. Yes. I'm glad you know all this. <laughs> um, another question before we move on that someone asked that you may have not thought of is, um, so let's say someone calls us and we, ca we can't really know if it's the doctor's office, but maybe it is, maybe it's not. We're not too sure. They didn't leave a voicemail, so we don't know what to do now. We don't know if to block them, what to do. So a, a little trick that I usually do is, um, whenever someone calls me and I don't know who it is, what I usually like to do is I just copy the phone number and I put it into Google. So whatever the phone number is, I just look at my, you know, the phone, the call log. Oops, sorry, I went back. I just look at these numbers and I type them into Google. And if it is the doctor's office, it should give you um, it should say like Montefiore or whoever your doctor is, Columbia. That's what you should get back in the Google search. So that's kind of a tip that I usually do. Like, let's say I didn't know that Montefiore was calling me. I put the number into Google and what comes back is the name of my doctor and the um, Montefiore or where, wherever it is in the Bronx. That's what comes up. Sometimes you're not lucky and nothing comes up and then maybe then you are safe to just block them. But if you wanted to know if it was like a doctor or something, usually it comes back up in the search. Just a tip. Well, when, I, when I press the I, it gets my contacts and I guess I can add them if I want to. But then uh, I don't know who it is. So what do I do? Just block it? If you don't know who it is and you're not too sure if it's a family member and they didn't leave a voicemail, you can just wait to see if they call you again and leave a voicemail. But if it's like over and over, they're calling you, it's safe to just block them. Tabitha, a quick question. So when yes. you said, um, this is so helpful. So again, if a phone number comes up, Mm -hmm. Is it that I'm searching my contacts to see if I know them? Or when you say to go to Google, do you just mean just I mean just go, Google? I just mean go to Google and type in the number into Google. Dot com. And what Google comes, dot com. Wow. Yes, exactly. And like let's say Google it's a search. Yeah, Google just search. If it's a family member though, um, of course. They're not like it's not gonna say your the first name and last name of a family member. I'm just trying to help you. Like if it's a doctor's office or something, that oh. should come up. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. You mean if you just put the number in, then again, it's yes, just yes. Like if it's up. a doctor's, the dentist. If you go um, do other wow. appointments, like a hair salon, those oh, numbers should come up. Business numbers. Oh, okay. Oh, great. And then what'll come up is the business or something right. like that. Perfect. And someone said so if it's a doctor's office. search by phone. Great. Yes. Okay. Someone and said in the chat. Uh, yes. I have, a, I have a question about, sometimes I see the word favorites. Uh-huh. So how do I put it in a favorites or take it out of a favorites? Okay. So I could go at that the ending because I have other topics, but I will make sure to remind me at the ending and I'll let you know. Okay. 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 So now we're going to do this for Androids because I don't want to leave um, that group out. So on Android Samsung phones, you can also block scam calls as well or anybody you just don't know and want to block them. So you can see here on the screen, I added two icons because some Android Samsung phones, your phone looks green, it has a green app, but there's other phones that have a blue app. So whichever one you have on your phone, it's okay. Just tap on one of those. If yours is green, then it's green. 
some people may have it in blue. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. So I put it both here for everyone to understand. Once again, this is Android. So we're taking a break for iPhone right now. So once we do tap on that, we also have the same thing, recents, right? So if we look all the way at the bottom of our screen, when we tapped on that phone icon, we had something called keypad, recents, and contacts all the way at the bottom. We wanna make sure we're in recents. We know we're in recents because it should show us everyone that has called us recently, um, today, yesterday. That's what we should be seeing on the screen right now. Um, also, recents can be in bold and black. So all the way at the bottom, you, that's how you know you're in recents. So once we do tap on recents, we want to make sure we tap on that three little dots in the top upper right hand corner. So I'm gonna give it a circle right now. I'm even going to draw an arrow so everyone knows what I'm talking about. We wanna tap on those three dots again. Once we tap on those three dots, we should get a menu and in the menu screen, it should say something like settings. So I put an arrow. We wanna tap on wherever it says settings. And if you don't have that, please let me know so I could try to find another way for you because some Android phones are different than the other phones. But once we do tap on settings, we should get a whole new list that looks something like this. And not exactly, but you should get a brand new menu screen. And in that menu screen, you should see something that's called block numbers. Uh, sometimes it's the one at all the way at the top. Sometimes you have to scroll a little with your finger, but you do want to find where it says block numbers. Once we do find that, this is where we can actually add the phone number and block them. So you could see right here, if I even circle it on the screen right now, it says add phone number and we can type in the person's number that we want to block. And that's how you block it on an Android Samsung phone. Even sometimes with some Android um, phones as well, right above it, you should, you could have something that says block unknown private numbers, and you can tap on that so your phone automatically blocks people that you don't know. I don't, that could be helpful if you're someone that always gets robocalls and spam calls, but, or maybe it, it won't be good for you because you like to um, you know pick up when someone calls you or your family members always change their numbers or you're always visiting different doctor's office. But that is there for some Android phones if you think that will help you. Does anyone have any questions on this for Android phones? I do. Yes. Um, when I get to the ones where you would where you would put the phone number in, there's also numbers already there. And one says scam likely, and you can um, touch the circle and then there's a green check mark there. But it's then what do I do after that? So under all the block, under this part at the bottom, you see a bunch of numbers already. Is that what it is you said? Like in so this screen. When I go to block. Oh, God. I've lost it. Uh, it, it, had a, it said scam likely above the number, and then it had a box. And then I, you could, you know, touch the box and then there would be a green check mark. In. Yeah. So what that means is it's your phone, your phone found um, scam numbers and they're asking your permission if you, you would like to block them forever. Okay. So when you, then, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So when you hit the check mark, then you block them. Oh, you already did it. Then you can just do done. Then you, yes, correct. Thank you. <laughs> 
Any other questions for Android phones? Okay. So we're going to quickly review still again call logs. And then I, I didn't forget about the favorites. I will go over that as well if you're still here in the meeting. Um, so once again, we're going to go, we're, we're on iPhones and we're going to go back to the phone icon, the green icon app on our phone. And I just want to quickly go over call logs. I know some people may already understand it or know how to do it, but just a quick refresher. A call log is going to have every phone call that you made or received on your phone, both for the phone, iPhone and with an Android. That's what a call log does. It keeps track of everyone that has called you. And in the call log, it's going to usually have the time, the date, and the duration of how long the call lasted, whether you picked it up or you didn't answer it iPhones make it pretty easy because in your call log, you know that you missed the call because their name is in red. So that is a great indicator that you didn't pick up the call. Um, so if you see that right now in the call log, that's what that means. For those that have Android phones, usually there is a little, little uh, icon in the left-hand side that has a little red in the icon. And that's what it means that you didn't pick it up. It's like a small little icon all the way on the left-hand side in your call log. For iPhones, the whole entire name is in red. And I'm just gonna quickly go over how to clear your call log because sometimes people don't want to have their a bunch, a bunch of names in the call log. They, 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 like, they like to clear it. A lot of people that I meet, they like to clear their call log. So I just want to quickly go over how do you do that or how do you do it individually? So with an iPhone, make sure you're here again. This is the app we're focusing on. And make sure you're in recent again at the bottom of the screen. All the way in the top right hand corner, you want to find where it says edit. It's always in the top right hand corner. And when we tap on the word edit, we have two things that we can do, right? So if everyone here in the call tapped on edit, what you should be seeing right now on your phone is a bunch of red minus signs and then clear at the top left-hand corner. So if we hit clear in the top left-hand corner, that means we're gonna clear the whole entire log. For some people, that's great for them. For some people, they don't want to do that. So if you don't want to clear your whole entire log, don't press on that clear in the top left-hand corner. If you just wanna delete some people, you're gonna hit that minus sign next to the person's name. Um, and hopefully if you're doing it together, you, you see it on your screen because I don't have a picture of that. But if we hit on edit, you should get minus signs next to the people's name on the left-hand side of your phone. And that's how we individually delete people. Um, and people have asked me, when we delete them from the call log, does that mean that we delete their contact? No. All this does is we're just deleting the log of the people that have called us. Your family members, friends, and phones are still safe in your phone as a contact. It does not that mean that we have deleted them forever from your phone. It just means we're saving some space in our call log. So we're not like clustered with all these people that have called us. Does anybody have any questions on that? So clearing these things, they're not really going to save a ton of space. This is just a way, I guess, to stay organized. Um, you don't have to always clear your log, 
But if it's just some numbers that you don't know of, you, of course you can clear them for from the log if you wanted to. But nothing really happens if you don't do it or if you do it. It's not something that's set in stone. It's not gonna delete them from the contacts and it's not gonna really save space on your phone. So if you think that today, um, I always have to clear my log because my phone is not gonna have any space. Um, this is not taking up space on your phone. Okay, so same thing with Android phones, the same thing with clearing call logs. We're going to once again stay on the phone icon, whether you have the green one or the blue one. We're going to make sure we are in recent again. So look at the bottom of your phone and make sure you're in recent where you see all the um, people. Now there's two things. Now there's three things um, because uh, someone said already in the chat. There's three ways to delete your history. When you click on these three dots where the arrow's pointing, you're gonna see three options depending on what phone you have for those that have Android or Samsung. Some people will see the word call history. Some people are going to see the word delete. And some people are gonna see the word edit. But those are the three buttons you want to look for to start deleting and clearing your phone um, call log. So anybody here with Android want to tell me what they see? Because I'm not too sure exactly um, the button for that one. But I it's have, Sorry, I have delete. You have delete. So you don't have call history. No. OK, so some people at the center, when I did it on Tuesday, had call history. So I just added it there. But so your phone has delete. So once you do click on delete, it's the same rules like deleting contacts. You just start tapping on the on the people and you can delete them. Any questions for Android phones on this? I have multi-select and clear call history. Okay, so clear call history is going to delete everyone. Multi-select is you individually choosing the people that you want to delete. Okay, thank you. Any questions on this? Any other questions about this uh, presentation from today from anyone? Okay, so someone asked on the, find the, vid the video on YouTube. I just, I just uh, dial in Riverdale Senior Services. Um, I can show you right now how to get us on YouTube. So we're just gonna go to YouTube. And once we get to YouTube, hopefully you have been to YouTube before, you wanna type in RSS Center for ageless living. And you can see right here, we post all the different YouTube for either the technology classes and many more other um, classes that we do here. But you can see my past video is here, streaming media, Bluetooth, app safety. And once we end today, I will post this one. Hopefully next week, it, this class will be here as well. So it's YouTube and then RSS Center for Ageless Living. Okay, so if you have an iPhone today and you wanna know how to add someone to your favorites because someone asked it, I'm just gonna show you a, a quick way. Um, I'm not gonna have all the visuals, but I'll be really good at explaining it. So you wanna make sure you're in this phone app. And at the bottom, you see that we have these different icons, favorites, recents, contacts, keypad, and voicemail. We're gonna click on the star for favorites instead of recent. So just go here to favorites. And some people may have already have 
people as their favorites. Maybe it's blank for you. Either way, all the way in the top left-hand corner is a plus sign. When you tap on that plus sign, you're going to, a menu is going to open up with all your contacts. And all you have to do is just tap on the people that you want to become a favorite. So you, you would have to go up and down with your finger to find the person that you're looking for. And once you do that, it will save them to your favorites. So anytime you go to the screen that says favorites with the star, you will see a list of all your favorite people so you can call them quicker. That's what favorites is all about. You don't have to um, spend time searching for the person. You just go to the star and you tap on the name to call them. Um, I have a, th a quick question. So I was trying to follow you. So I, I'm at favorites. Mm -hmm. And if I want to add someone to it, I click the plus sign. Correct. Oh, and, and then it's going to show me all of my contacts. And then and I just have to click them one by one. Exactly. So you cannot do it multiple. You have to. So if you have one person in mind, just try to find that person first. And then you got to, you know, redo the steps. And redo the steps means so I click on it. And then at the bottom, it says cancel. Is there a way of. um? Wasn't uh, certain. So when I bring up the list and I click on the name, mm -hmm. um, it says add, it It just says, um, so if it says call, phone, or message. Yeah, so it's asking you two things. Do you want them to be a favorite to send them a text message or a favorite for a phone call? So those are the two options at the bottom. So you have um, to choose... If you click on message, that means that every time you tap on their, on their name, you want to send them a text message. Okay. If you click on call, it's to call them. And and I see like a little V. So do I just click on the V and that means that now they're they're added because I don't see how to. So, so the little V is a, as an arrow pointing down. Right. That's for in case that person has multiple numbers, then you choose which number you want. Oh, but that's what that means. Okay. Otherwise, you just tap on the word call or tap on the word message, depending on what you want. You know, so I, I, I'm sorry, but it looks. Oh, yeah. So then it just added it. You just tap on it and then it becomes yeah. oh, great. And is this also a good idea just in case something were to happen to us? And um, it really depends on um, how quickly you are navigating with your phone. I would say this is like a shortcut, right? So, oh, okay. Um, some people don't really mind. They just go to their contacts and find the person or they just type it in the keypad. But okay. if you just want to be quicker, you add them to this your This is favorites. perfect. This is, this is perfect. And I put something in the chat and you'll let me know if it's possible. Right. or I don't think I'm going to have time for that for the next, camera but next time i'll try to do that okay perfect great and is next time next week same time next time is messages so that would be a good topic for next week great any other final questions thank you so on much. today's class from anyone today about anything we went over thank you Okay, so if not, that's the end for today. We'll be doing all about text messages next week and sending pictures with text messages, things like that um, next week. So I see you then, everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So helpful. Bye. Bye-bye.